Good morning. The title of today's video is Don't Make Your Home a Prison. I'm going to repeat that. The title of this morning's video is Don't Make Your Home a Prison. And where did I get to that? There's a lady that did flea markets, and she used to come in my store. And I don't know if she was a widow or she was never married, but her she helped her mother out. When her mother died, she left her the house. And she told her she was leaving the house. It was in Lewisdale, the lovely Acadian community of Lewisdale in Cape Breton Island. And her mother said, she says, wonderful to get out to these flea markets. And, oh, she says, I love it. I see people. Very enthusiastic lady. And she's still alive. And she'll be alive for many years. She loves people. And she's full of zip and piss vinegar. But her mother again, repeat for third time, told her, I'm leaving you the home, house, but don't make your house, your home, your prison. In other words, get out, move about. And that was powerful advice. I don't know the mother of the lady I'm speaking of, but she, she that was remarkable advice. Um, I just was coming back from Aaron this morning, and a gentleman picked me up from a wonderful family. He's going to visit his wife at the hospital. And this guy's going to live to be 100. His wife's been in the hospital several months. She has dementia, and she's a wonderful lady. And he's done everything to care for her. He's been married for over 60 years. And that man faithfully goes and visits her every day. Every day. And, it, and uh, one last comment. Uh, so he gets out and about, and he's, boy, he's he's engaged. We talk about smelts, and we talk, he just, he he's out and about, and he's he's in fine form. He's older, but his, his mind is as sharp and as clear as somebody half his age. Okay. Anyway, that's because he's out and about among people. Lastly, it was a former premier of this province who I phoned up. It was they were gonna, they were gonna. Well, it's since happened, but they're gonna privatize liquor stores. That part didn't happen, but agents of liquor stores everywhere. So I was dead. Nobody is more against liquor and drugs to me. I wouldn't repeat that. Nobody that I know of is more against liquor and drugs to me. That said. I phoned up his wife, and he wasn't home yet from Halifax. He was premier of Providence at the time, and it's the most deep. They lived along a beach in a county not too far from here, okay, in west of me. And it's by far, and I phone a lot of people, speak to a lot of people, it's the most depressed sounding voice I've ever. And by a house, it was a quite elaborate house. It's many people probably consider it a mansion. It was a quite elaborate house. And uh, the poor lady's in heaven. He's he's dead now. I don't. I said he's dead. I don't know where he's at, but he's. He, we know he's dead. But uh, she was. If if that lady's not in heaven, nobody is. It was the most depressed sounding voice I ever heard. I spoke in the old people that guy that lost his wife after sixty some. Okay, one case seventy some years of marriage. And, it's hard to hear him, but he, you speak slow and he could hear you. And he still had zip and piss and vinegar and him. He's talking about planting his garden, his grandkids, and bring him in to buy fertilizer and all, and the seeds in the spring, seed potatoes. And great guy. I I spoke to elderly women that lost their husbands down country lanes, and the grandkids are all gone away, and the kids live in Halifax or. Alberta or something, and there's no close road. But again, zip. They get out to the card player bingo. So that's that's the value. Don't make your house a home, a uh, a prison. Excuse me. Don't make your house your home a prison. Okay, that's why it's so important to get out. And whoever cited this should be another video. Whoever thought of working from home in these. That's nuts. You can work in purging at home when you're not interrupted with something you got to focus on. But boy, oh boy, you got to be among people to interact. There's not a human being out there we can't interact with and learn with, from. Anyway, i got to go. Uh, wish you all the best. God bless. Thank you. Bye for now.